Hey guys, it's Riot Kitty. Congratulations everyone. It seems like my challenge was completed. A hundred views for my 500 sub special in less than three days. And as per challenge completion, I am now drawing for the very first time the big tittied Russian assassin, the witch of Hydra, Serrano Malloy for the very first time. So let us begin. So uh, just just pretend that this is totally all from scratch and that I didn't, you know, spend three tries coming up with a sword pose. Because Serrano has a sword and I wanted to draw her with it. And because I wanted Serrano to look really cool for her debut. With that, I'm not going to talk about how nervous I was making this video because, you know, your OC is your baby, right? And you want them to look as good as they possibly can. And instead, I'm going to tell a little bit more about Serrano than what I did in my 500 sub special. So, as I stated before, Serrano Malloy has a nickname, the Witch of Hydra, and it's not for the reasons you might be thinking. She's kind of got, well, super awesome telekinetic powers from a secret mountain clan. And the common trait in this secret mountain clan is they all have, like, pinkish, reddish eyes. And most of them either have red or white hair, so you can just think of the actual physical traits as a big candy cane. The clan has all the same general telepath and telekinetic powers, though kind of in a limited capacity. They can pull stuff out of your minds and make people do what they want. You can think of a combination of Emma Frost from X-Men and Bloodbending in Avatar. Anyways, Serrano leaves his mountain clan to go to America to be with her honey and betrothed fiancé, Dart Stelroy, who is also from the same clan. Unfortunately, the happy time does not last forever, as Darts' father falls into a coma. He finds out that he's lacking in the sperm department, and um, Serrano decides to experiment on herself to find a way to get Darts' father out of his coma. Unfortunately, and you guys know how the story goes, uh, it does not go quite the way Serrano planned. And in consideration that I might reboot this one day, I'm not going to say exactly what happens, but basically speaking, Serrano unlocks more of her brain, and so she gains new abilities. She can pull stuff out of your mind, but now it's reality, basically. To you, at least. So essentially, she can give you very, very vivid hallucinations. Let's say that you're afraid of clowns. Well, she can pull out your greatest fear and you can see it standing outside your window smiling at you. And, well, um, she can't exactly control her new abilities, so, uh, this kind of causes pure chaos. Now, despite coming off as a hard ass and, you know, just generally cold and callous, she does have a few redeeming qualities about her. Throughout their years of running away from Hydra, Serrano genuinely grew to care about Annie as if she was her own daughter. And she wants to make her happy, even if she um, goes to the absolute extremes to make that happen, like kidnapping people to be her friends. I assure you, she is not insane, but just has a very skewed perception of what actually makes a family and friends due to her upbringing. Because as a child, she was taught that these things need to be arranged and not, you know, just let Annie go to a party or something. She's also a pretty good warrior and kicks quite a lot of butt in the novels. She even teaches the three main characters, Gavin, May, and Stephen, how to fight because she's like, well, you know what, I kidnapped you, so I'm going to teach you how to fight so you don't die. While this is my first time drawing Serrano Malloy, apparently this actually isn't my first time drawing a Heads of Hydra character. Because I was looking through old books and stuff and I found a sketchbook containing a drawing. And I think it's of Annie Blake. So here you go, it's at the bottom left corner of the screen. That would have been helpful in commissioning artwork for Annie in the thumbnail. And just having more pictures in general to use, but I guess what can I do about it now, right? I've said all that I needed to say, so I'm going to try something new, and I'll come back at the end of the video. And let my past self kind of fill in the blanks. So see you guys at the end of the video.
Alright Kitty here again. Looks like I'm just about done finishing the drawing so I hope you guys have had a lovely lovely time. And let me know what you think of my pseudo silent video. I like talking during videos but you know what maybe this would be the format for future sketch videos as well. And you know what maybe I'll draw more original characters on here too. What the heck. Mostly from my comic dollhouse. Well that about wraps up the video. I hope you've all enjoyed the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Right Kitty is signing out.